This is gonna sound ridiculous, all right? But we, we had this incredible Tasmanian blackwood wood downstairs, and we just didn't have that many sets, right? It was really, really cool looking wood. And I, you know, what do you think of when you think of Tasmania? You think of the Tasmanian devil, right? That's always what you think. So I thought of something that felt very uh, red. You know, that was sort of the inspirational color for it that we wanted to play with. We wanted to try to bring out some red highlights in it. And, uh, that's kind of been our working title for this, is like the Tasmanian Devil. Even though, actually, it's kind of a sweetheart little angel of a guitar. I, I, that's what I really like about it. This wood is so cool. I mean, when you see the back of that, I mean, that's just unbelievable. That's just gorgeous wood. And for people who aren't familiar, you know, Tasmanian Blackwood is from the Acacia family of wood. So it's, it's a lot like Koa. So it kind of gives you the same vibe and the feel of Koa but the density is a little different. And I think you get a little bit more mahogany flavor out of there. So it's, once again, it sort of pushes those mids a little bit out of the instrument. And it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wood. Really pretty to look at. We highlighted it on the edge and on the binding with a paduke, which has that, that nice fiery red color around the outside. And once again, trying to frame your eye. And then we wanted to toast the top, right? With a very, very light red burst. We used uh, Western Red Cedar, once again, playing with the red theme that we had for the instrument. Now that Western Red Cedar, when you put just a tiny bit of energy into it, it really amplifies that energy, right? So it comes out. So it really works well with a light touch, uh, but the headroom is much lower. So it's not the kind of guitar you're gonna drive it. You're not gonna drive it. You're not gonna flat pick with this style of guitar. That's really not what it's for. So the lower headroom, but the sensitivity just lends itself to somebody who's gonna sit down there. It's a finger style guitar. I see this as a singer songwriter guitar, something you would play maybe in a more quiet venue, right? When it's just all about emotion and really trying to get something out of it in a cool way. And this, the warmth of it, just something warm just makes you just wanna pick it up and play it right off the bat. Intimate, I think, is the right word for the instrument. You know, now it kind of reminds me more of something we would play like in front of a fireplace <laughs> or around a fire somewhere. There's something just warm about it in, in that way. I like the straight line bridge with the smaller body and that double O shape. I think that just looks more delicate. It just sort of fits the profile of the instrument as a whole, like the herringbone binding around the outside on the inlay. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's just a really, really pretty guitar. And because of the woods that we're using here, this is gonna be another small run. Just be some lucky people who get it, that's for sure.